in this wacky world of ours. We struck Cassatite. Tell me when I find something that you can make iron out, by the way. Clip what? <laughs> they all died? No, like, are there even humans in the world of Dwarf Fortress? I, I, I have no idea. Maybe there are. Maybe, I, maybe I'm talking complete rubbish. I thought they were just elves and dwarves. I don't know. Found the elves sympathizer time for lava. There are humans. Okay, cool. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, he says. What am I doing wrong? There are humans and goblins. Cool. It started raining. I noticed. <laughs> so, this is food and drink. So I'd like another kitchen. No. Kitchen is dead, naturally. Give me a kitchen. Blocked. Oh, it hasn't finally fin finished mining out yet. Fair enough. Humans and elves are the friendly civilizations. Okay. Aren't dwarves? You're worrying me now. <laughs> As a true dwarf, you only accept humans. Elves are to be robbed on sight. I had these elves show up. I did, I've played one game for the first like year and a half um, before this one in this like itineration, iteration rather, of me trying out Dwarf Fortress. Um, and the, the, the elven caravan had literally nothing on it I wanted to buy. Maybe I'm being an idiot. You are the dwarf, so obviously you are friendly. If you, if you haven't heard of humans. <laughs> Red Zircon, cool. Um, I had like this this thing that one of my dwarves had made in a strange mood that was worth like 8,000, but the elves didn't have anything to sell for it. We're not gonna pick enemies. If you think elves are good, then you then look like an elf, you fairy. <laughs> we struck scroll. Cool. Alright, build. They don't like it if you make stuff out of wood. Yes! I am familiar with this. Put a door in there. And let's start building doors. Oops. On the bedrooms. And beds. Ah. Cool. And now once we've designated those and they get built, that'll show that we have less beds in storage and therefore they'll go build more beds. If you buy their wood produce and sell it back, they feel insulted. Ridiculous knife he is. Good lord. <laughs> Table. We don't have any tables. Who is meant to be on that? Sorry about that, by the way. The only one good thing they bring is cages with giant elephants. What? <laughs> that is crazy. Everyone everyone happy? Hey, our first plump helmet. It's grown. And they still haven't built the freaking farm. <laughs> What's biggest? Dragon? Probably. They're only good for free stuff. Yeah, but we're not going to pick fights and we don't need to. We've made our quarry bush. Cool. All right, just... In the, no, we're going to store it down here. All right, so any... Oh, fine. We'll store it up here for now. Store... Unfinished food here. This is going to be a uh, disable food stockpile. Or oh, we'll just put both there for now. Finished and unfinished food. Go there. Largest is the giant sperm whale. <laughs> That's crazy. There are sperm whales in this game. Oh, and the other thing we should do is just put a big stockpile here and just set this for like everything. So we can bring it all inside. So, not furniture, but um, ammo, coins, bars, not gems. Leather, cloth, wood, not wood. Uh, weapons, armor, sheets. Cool. Just bring all that inside off the cart. Is there seriously a sperm whale? Put a seed stop out next to your farms. I will when I move these. It's going to go right there. Preferably without barrels. Why? I'm sure you're right, but why? Oh, right, our spare copper pick. Um, in the first wave of immigrants, we're going to give one of them the pickaxe. Once had an elf join the fortress to become a permanent resident. Cool. 
He didn't seem to be bothered too much about the use of wood or killing elves. <laughs> nice. Very nice. All right, it's all dug out, all dug out, all dug out. Nice. In which case, I would like a substantially increased in size wood and stone storage area. I would like a kitchen. Pretty please. Right there. And I would like a, another still. Right there, right there. And you can tear up that quern. Because we're going to put that down here as well. Good. And never mind. Are you just about to start building that? I've changed my mind. We are, by the way, going to smooth the floor of every floor that's actually like a living area. <laughs> so it's all very, very pretty. <laughs> Barrels block all other seeds while in use. They block all other seeds. What do you mean by that? Do you mean that... Like, you know, you put one type of seed in a barrel? If someone else wanted to grab a seed in the barrel, you get work cancel spam. You can only grab one seed at a time? Like, only one dwarf can be about to grab the seed? Is that what you mean? They store a lot of seeds, but they block all other seeds. That's okay. Space, not a big issue. Like, in the game so far. Uh, maybe it is in the long run. I guess for efficiency, you want everything to be nice and close. If only one is taken, then all others are blocked f for the time. Okay. Until they're finished. Oh, okay, yeah, that sucks. We're not going to do that. Oh, saving. Summer, is upon us. summer! Yay. When's the first attack come? I assume it's like the second summer or something. Or is it random? Remind me, how loud did you say it was for when I turned on the fan? And you can you can tell me now. It's in autumn. It's very loud. I can't tell if you're memeing now. <laughs> um, the first autumn? I didn't get an attack in the first autumn. Oh no, wait, I did, but it was an animal. Does that count? All right, this bit's finished digging out, which means it's time to build a second stockpile. Can you prioritize stockpiles? That might be the one thing that I haven't found so far. Maybe it exists. That's like seriously missing from RimWorld. This whole area, stone stockpile. Well, that is a really nice game. It's a great game. Baron Crispy. <laughs> hey, Cody, how you doing? I'm the only serious one here. When have I ever memed? It's not at all true. Stopping production wheelbarrows. Stopping production door. Cantle's fertilized field? I didn't set up fertilized field, did I? Apparently I did. So it should be making cave wheat right now. Hopefully he'll get on that soon. What needs to be in Rimworld? No, the other way around. Prioritizing stockpiles needs to be in Dwarf Fortress. Sorry if that is loud, but it only needs to go on for like 10 seconds and the room is really warm, so. You don't have plump helmet seeds. What? Oh, right, because they're all... Uh, all right, this, this food stockpile. Do I want this food stockpile here? Yeah. No. No. No, I don't. Long, run, long term, we need it down here. So we have two food stockpiles here. One of the stuff that's going to go into here... And one of the stuff coming out. You can s put both in barrels. So I think what I'll do is I'll have like uh, a food stockpile like here, which is the finished product. And then a food stockpile like here, which is the, the as yet unused products. You don't have plump helmet seeds. How can we not have any plump helmet seeds? Where do you see that? Uh... Z kitchen seeds. We have no plump helmet seeds. We must have a bunch of uh, plump helmets. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't cook the plump helmets. Uh, C. No cooking the plump helmets. You'll kill the seeds. Okay, so here. You don't think you can. The stockpile thing or something else? Uh, food. 
Okay, so this is the one that's the finished food. Or maybe we should store that by the, the, the dining room? Are there aquifers? No. <laughs> we turn them off. Alright, so this is placed somewhere where I want no seeds. Uh, F. Uh, this is finished goods, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so not meat. How do I make it so it's not prepared? It's like, is it additional? No. Is there an easy way to make it like one prepared and one unprepared? Yeah, here we go. You, prepared food. Hmm. Build a windmill? You could build windmills? Make sure you wash your hands after handling that unfinished food. How do I make it so this one is just stuff that they make food with? You can really make windmills, that's very cool. Is there an easy way? Let me stop you right there. The answer is no. <laughs> Alright, so this is the finished food stuff. So not fat, not paste. Because we make the paste into food. No, the paste is the food. Right? I think the paste is the food, so we permit that. Milled plant. I think they just eat the flour. F leaves. The paste is dwarves? No. Paste is for cooking. Okay. Not paste. Yes, cakes. Flour? Also for cooking? I mean, it seems like it's for cooking, but I thought I read that it isn't. You can eat cheese. No, no drink. No beer. And no, no just plants. Do you cook eggs? When answering questions, by the way, pretty please, could you say the question in your answer? Because <laughs> I've asked lots of questions. And if you just say no, it means nothing to me. <laughs> Unprepared fish, no. Fish. So I guess that's yes, because that must be prepared, given this is unprepared. Meat. So we need to, do we need to just individually go through and say only the prepared ones? Or is tripe prepared? I think tripe is prepared, actually. Is that right? What is the question? What is the answer? In that case, what is the question? Flour needs to be cooked. Good. Okay, so that's the un that's the prepared food one. And then over here, and we'll expand it later, without this spot here, because that's going to be where we put the quern. This is, if we toggle off prepared food, we can then just leave everything on, right? Because it should only put unprepared food there. Meat can be eaten raw. It can, but I don't want it to be. Right? Because it hurts mood. <clears throat> and it might be over the top to care about that, but I'd like to. I say we still say we do a vegan run. We're not doing a vegan run. <laughs> oh yeah, and both of you, both of you can use max barrels. Great. Stopping production bed. We're gonna need some more beds then. And some doors. How many doors we got? Three more. Not quite enough. And we need one more bed too, actually. There we go. And we don't need to assign beds, right? It's all automatic. I think you can ban everything in food and then turn on prepared food. Ooh, convenient. Okay, uh, block all. And then turn on prepared food. See if that works. Uh, resuming door production. Good. <clears throat> These are dwarves or elves. No dwarf should ever voluntarily have an elfish diet. Absolutely true. Now, uh, this area get undesignated. We need another wood stockpile filling the area. Good. Now, deconstruct this, and we will put a seed stop pile here. Dwarves should eat elves? <laughs> if we can, we will. Kill this stockpile. This is going much better than my first fortress that I did uh, yesterday. We've got like no idlers. This is brilliant. I had so many idlers all the time. <laughs> we haven't even got our first wave of migrants and we're already celebrating. Might be a bit premature.
There is only one way to deal with elves, and it's very hot. How do you even get lava up here? <laughs> you can have some wheelbarrows, by the way. No barrels. Wheelbarrows. Uh, e. There we go. You can have three as well. Pump stacks. What the heck is a pump stack? Oh, yes. You. No seeds. Uh, F. And for now, here. Do, 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 do. F for food. Make this into a buckle. And then just top it on seeds. F. No, P. For permit. Seeds, but no barrels. Good. You sleep with them. <laughs> There's only one way to deal with them, and it's very hot. It does kind of sound sexual. I think we've got a, uh, an elf lover in chat. <laughs> you pump lava upwards. Not much more to do than that. You say it like that's, that's simple. I don't even know that pumps exist. <laughs> Hashtag fanfiction. A, thing, a link to a pump stack? You should send me... Oh, well, no, I'll look now. <laughs> but I was going to say, you should send me that in like 10 hours. <laughs> What the hell? That works! <laughs> that looks really weird. But thank you for the visual representation. Fifty Shades of Grey Havens. <laughs> How will you even sleep with them? They've got no beards. What would you hold on to? That's good. <clears throat> so, in production of beds, that means there must be some spares. We didn't need any. We don't need to assign bedrooms, right? It all does it automatically. Correct? Okay, now some tables. Needs tables. Why have we got no tables? What is more valuable, by the way? A. Oh, I didn't set up wooden tables. A wooden table or a stone table? Should we be making all our tables out of stone? Is there a good reason either way? Hit me up with those tables. Same kind of constraints as ever. Give less than two, make four. Do we need a table each? What's the ratio of tables to dwarves? You need one chair per table, I know this. You make everything out of stone because you are a dwarf. Wood is for elves. Fair enough. But is there a good reason? What is that square? Hmm. Speaking of singing. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, kitchen. Add new task. Prepare an easy meal. And repeat. Work for restraints. Limits. Biscuits. If you ever have less than... 25 meals, make me a hundred. And then you will stick them in this stockpile. Good. Wood is for elves, you know it. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> nice. Uh, brew drink. Repeat. Less than 40, make, make 50. Let's make it a hundred. Stockpile. Food. What I think I'll do to simplify things, actually, is shake things up here. Uh, kill the stockpiles. Sorry about the siren. What we'll do is we'll have finished food goes here with one space. And finished drink goes here. And then ingredients can go along the top. So we don't need to have food ingredients and drink ingredients, but that's so inefficient. <laughs> it's so inefficient, we shouldn't do that. We'll have one over here. I guess we can have one over here that's literally just the things that we want to go into food, and one here that's like, like this stockpile here, from here to here. You know what this stores? I'll give you a clue, it begins with P. And it wants to be, uh, what is it under, plants? 
This is for beer. All I want are plump helmets. Is it not alphabetical? Why the heck is it not alphabetical? Or it's partly alphabetical? It's weird. You can search. Plump. No, you can't search. Never mind. No prepared food. Forbid plants. No. No. Lock all. Plants. Hit S for search. S. Plump. Ooh, plump does not tell you. All right. Thank you. Now toggle off the search. No. How do I... Ah! <laughs> plump. Okay, now... There we go. Okay, plump helmets in this stockpile. And in this stockpile... Oh, right. And both of you, all of you, get max barrels. This one is for... Um, food. It's not prepared. And we want... We'll just put everything but plump helmets here. Just for simplicity's sake. Except seeds. Plant search. Plump. There we go. Okay. That should work, right? And this one, I don't know if I set it on prepared. Oh, I haven't set it up at all. Okay, so food. Block all. Activate unprepared. Sorry, actually prepared. Good. That should be a pretty good stockpile system. Given the amount of dwarves plait their hair, I think dwarves want to be elves deep down. <laughs> you want to burn me with wood is for elves, right? No, they're going to burn you with lava, I think. So why isn't he sleeping in a bed? We have enough bedrooms for everyone. Maybe he's confused by the fact that this isn't dug out. Let's just dig that out for simplicity's sake. Lava doesn't burn, it melts. It definitely does both. How's my boy Ulm doing? Let's see. Ulm. Ulm is at minus three stress level. She f oh, it's a she. She felt euphoric due to inebriation three times. She was annoyed at sleeping on a rough clay floor. Satisfied at work. Annoyed having to drink without a goblet. Good point. We should make some goblets. So the way you do that, or in a good way, is you put tables in here. Tell me if my table layout is horrendous, by the way. Uh, C for chair. Yes, indeed. And then you have like a stockpile. We're going to have a table here and a chair here. So we have some room up here for a stockpile. Uh, finished goods, which is G. Goods. Stockpile up here. And all we put in this stockpile is, is nothing but cups. <laughs> I think that's the way you do it. What is it? S for search? A uh, goblet and cup. No, it's just goblet. Cool. The XP's on this chat and what happens to a few minutes when you drop it into lava is worrying. <laughs> if you drop it into lava, the most likely outcome is explosive. What? Really? Seems exceedingly unlikely, but a very strange thing to lie about. See, all these guys understand where their beds are. Who's the idiot that doesn't understand how beds work? Where are you? Let me shame you. Can't find him now. <laughs> Who was it that slept on the floor? Using cups. This is not... This is not tantrum spiral conducive. I'm not trying to make spans <laughs> tantrum spirals. I'm trying to avoid tantrum spirals. A bag full of meat into lava and it was explosive. Was that not because the bag was airtight? And hence like the air inside it expanded a lot? That sounds cool. Lava was hungry. Where's the fun in that? Don't worry. We will lose. There's no doubt. But if you know me at all, you know I'm going to try and play well. People are made out of water. It rapidly boils and explodes. That's pretty freaking metal. All right, we need that quern up here. All right, we need goblets. Let's make them out of stone so that we can sell them to the elves. <laughs> Rock. Mug. Why would you refer to them as mugs in one place and something else in another area? Add a limit. Goblets of any material. If you ever have less than five goblets, make ten goblets. Brilliant. 
What should we sell to the dwarves? The first wave of dwarves, by the way. I want to produce some goods so that we actually have something to sell to them. They'll be here at the end of autumn. So we need to start making something for them. If you want to win any attack, name your main soldier Mussolini so they get better tactics and equipment. Stopping production of tables. Must have some tables then. Indeed we do. Now give me some chairs. No one told me a table to dwarf ratio. Mugs made out of rock, cups of wood. Hey, migrants! Nice! Not something you hear very often in this day and age. So, we got some more migrants. Here they are. Excellent. That's really good because we were capped out on work. So, we got Solon, Solon, <laughs> Thitog, Radvod, Skuzzle, Throb, <laughs> Thob, and Aiden. Aiden, I need you, and all that. Aiden is a presser, a liar, and a leader. You throb, excuse me, throb. A lie maker, a manager, and a leader. Skazzle. A brewer. Oh, he's a godly brewer. All right, Skazzle, you are our brewer, for sure. Yeah, he's got 10 brewing. All right, Gundel, you don't need to brew anymore. Who wants to be the new brewer? Speak now. Oh ye gods, I'm a woodcutter, I'm worse than useless. You're certainly not worse than useless. We need wood. I can press the crap out of things. I don't know what pressing is. Probably to make, like, wine? You want it to be called Santos? Then Brewer is Santos! Okay. Alright. Who else is new? Farmer's not new. Rodvid. What are you good at, my man? A dyer, a liar, and a leader. <laughs> not necessarily in that order. You're pretty useless. So he... He could be a fighter. Actually, yeah, the presser... These three all seem kind of useless. Should we immediately have a military of three? Should we just... That's overdoing it, right? But maybe this guy should be our trader. Because he's a competent conversationalist, a competent pacifier, a competent flatterer. I think Throb should be our trader. Right? Let me, uh, let me take a look at the noble screen here. So our, our broker... Solon, he's pretty good. But Throd, wait, Christo, I'm good at it, okay. Oh, well, I'm okay at it. But this guy's real good. Solon, he's the only options? We have more people than that, don't we? Maybe there's some restriction that means the others can't be it. So Solon, is that who we were looking at? No, Solon is one of these two. This guy, he's, uh, he's pretty good. All right, Solon is going to be our trader. Not that trading is a full-time job. So you can be the you can be the broker. Anyway, back to it. So military-wise, how are you two? Agility one! I'm assuming that means we shouldn't put him in the military. <laughs> They're not on the map yet? Uh unpause for a second. Now they should be on the map. Okay. Noble. Nobles. Broker. Uh, how do you change who it is? Replace. So Solon, he is actually the best, I think. Even when compared to everyone else that's arrived, Solon is the best. So we'll keep him as the broker for now. Trader should have appraiser and judge of intent. Okay. It's the glass maker we made him, I think. He's got... He's got no judge of intent. Oh, he has, yeah, he's skilled judge of intent. What was the other one? Appraiser. He's got no appraiser. Does that, like, totally disqualify him, or can he learn that over time? Give him some time to walk in. Yeah, yeah. Forever unlegendary. Don't worry, weird. You can, you can be some... You'll probably be in the military at some point when we feel like we have enough trees. You can be an axe dwarf. 
What does Orm do? I can't remember, to be honest. He, he grows stuff. No, he's a hunter. That's right. You can train it, of course. Cool. Okay, we'll keep Solon then, because he's got really good stats in other areas. What are you? A gem cutter. That's kind of useless. Um... He's not really good at anything else. So you, Solon. So sorry, who wants to be the trader? Speak now. Can I see Weird's first name real quick? Sure. It's uh, this one, right? I don't know how I see that actually. Hovering seems to just give me his name. Right? Profession is something different than current job. Yeah, yeah, this is the one they're currently doing, and then the profession is based on my higher skill, right? Can I be the useless gem cutter? Of course you can. This one is Gothmog. So who wants to be the trader? Me, virtual. All right, this is Viking. Come here. All right, good. So he's a trader. What are you going to do when you're not trading? Butchering stuff? Fish cleaning's kind of useless. Glass making's not useless. You could just be a hauler, really. I don't really want to put him in the military because it would be a bad if he died. We'll turn off butchery on the other guy. Okay, now who else are we dealing with? So I think these two are both going to go in the military. Throb and Iden. What are you, wood cutting? No, Weird's got that down. Stone crafting? No, thanks. Potash making? Could be useful. He's okay at weaponsmithing, but we already have smith. So, no thanks. Paper making? I just don't see it coming in handy. Strange, it doesn't show the whole name anymore. Yeah, no matter. I'm gonna look up the name translation. You could watch the VODs. You'd have to find the exact spot, but, you know. So these two are gonna be the first two members of our military. Should I make one of them carry an axe and one of them... Oh no, we we're going to make a miner. Okay, so now we just need to find who's going to be the best for mining. Uh, Santos, who are you? Brewer, right. Rodvid also hasn't got a, uh, a profession. Can I move them? No. What are you good at? Nothing? Dying? Doesn't matter. So who's going to be the best miner of you three? The other one of you is going to fight for me, so... Looks like it's you, Throb. So Throb's going to be a miner. Who wants to be our new miner? Can you sing us a song, please? No. <laughs> do, 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 do. Missing a weapon with a miner skill. It's fine. He'll go grab that. What would you like to sing you? Far over the misty mountains cold. That kind of thing. Thirod. How do I say your name? Tiroj. Wants to be the new miner. Okay. Come it. Clip it. <laughs> Tiraj. Cool. Hobbit was a terrible movie series. It wasn't great. It was not terrible. It was no Lord of the Rings by a long damn shot. Or TJ. I don't like single letter abbreviations. I'll go with Tiraj if that's alright. If you sing it, I'll stop asking about Equestria. Forever? Gandalf, if you make that promise, I will sing the song. Is the miner allowed to drink? Yeah, they're all allowed to drink. TJ are two letters. I mean, like, <laughs> like individual letters. Like TJ or, I don't know. Allowed to drink? He's supposed to drink. They're all drinking. <clears throat> all right, so, Aiden, Rotvod, these are going to be the first two members of our military. So, first off, who wants to be in the military? And secondly, let's set that up. So, military. Uh, M. New squad. Create squad. Archers. The Wayward Lanterns. What should we call the squad? Jorrit. Jorrit is your name? No. <laughs> I'll adopt the militia, the militia commander. Plutonium Jesus. All right, Jesus will lead our military to glory. For great justice. Who's going to be the leader? Who has better leadership skills? Is that how that works? Oh, we also need uh, Throttig. Who are you? 
He's a milker, a carpenter. He's not bad at carpentry. Carpentry. And the other guy is our gem cutter, our tanner, and our bone crafter. So sure, let's turn off his carpentry. He can focus on like tanning and stuff. And this guy could be our new carpenter. He's also good at milking, beekeeping. Not too relevant. We're losing one skill level. That's okay. Uh, so the new commander, he's a 63% leader. He's a 68% leader. You are our new commander. You are Jesus. You need an Imicus. Imicus, we have an Imicus. Oh no, we, he, well, he's waiting on a certain one. Jesus. Commit. So, Jesus is going to lead the military. Excuse me. There we go. And the other one is... Throltog? Who's the other one joining the military? It's Rot... Rotvod, isn't it? Didn't know. Fair enough. We were waiting for an Urist, yeah. Now we need to name the other stories the Holy Spirit. That's a great idea. Rotvod, congratulations. You are the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All right, we probably need to close it out and reopen it to actually, since you changed his name. He's not showing up in the list. Why is this? Does anyone know? Holy Spirit should be the brewer. <laughs> Why are you naming the dwarves after the weakest religion? Because Jesus in chat wanted it. At least naming them after Norse gods. Why isn't Jesus, sorry, Holy Ghost in this list? I'm confused. Holy Spirit should be the Brewer. Now nah, we already named the Brewer. We're not going to go too deep in, down this rabbit hole of naming people. Did you commit? Yeah. Holy Spirit. Is he incapable of it somehow? 84 is not too old. Maybe it's because his stats are just too low. Not that bad. He can swim. Please read the above. Uh, it's sung to the tune of Oh Christmas Tree. No. Did you exit the military screen and let the game run for a while? No, I did not. I'll do that now. Novice liar. Top three rules. Number two, liar. We need seven more nest zones. Yes, I'm aware. We'll work on it. I promise game. We should put those here. Let's do that now, actually. Whoa. Three, four, five. Needs more. Okay. Let's let it run for a second. Okay, military. Jesus is just not on the list. Hey, there he is. The Holy Spirit joins them. Nice. What are we going to name the, la the squad? This is the, uh, I don't know, Long Claw. Because they're killing people from a long way away. Long, long shots. Because <clears throat> they mostly just drink. But then when they have to fight, they use bows. <laughs> uh, uniforms. <clears throat> they should both use archers. Now, how do you assign that again? You go here. Uniform. Archer. Maybe? Maybe? Uniforms. <clears throat> I do not know how to do this. Christo and Jesus need to share commands with the army is led by Jesus Christo. <laughs> well, I need the whole place, so. Equip. I don't understand freaking uniforms. I spent like an hour looking at this on the wiki. The whole thing, the whole squad, uniforms. Okay. I want you all to be archers. So how do I just say, for goodness sake, be archers? <laughs> I can take you through it. I would love it. <laughs> I want them all to be archers. That's it. 
You picked the uniform when you created the squad. So they were all automatically archers, is that what you're saying? That would be lovely. Get voice on voice chat, no. No, we're, we're rolling with uh, with solo voice today. So they sh if that's right, we definitely picked it when they started. So they should all go be archers now. We still need one more name, by the way. Our, uh, our new carpenter. Who wants to be the new carpenter? They're too elvish. You need uh, crossbows. When I say archer, I mean crossbowmen. <clears throat> Speaking of crossbows, we need to make some of those. Uh, do we need training axes and things? Presumably not. We haven't got any friggin' people fighting with those yet. Maybe I make it at this place. Uh, wood. Ah, uh, yeah. Wooden bolts. For sure. Gonna need a lot of those. Where do I make the crossbows? Archer just gives them leather armor. Right, but it'll also tell them to have crossbows, right? Repeat this task. Limit. Wooden bolts. If you ever have less than 250, make me 750. Go freaking buck wild. If you want crossbow, you should make sure they equip crossbows. That's how you, that's how you, that's uniforms though, right? Uh, uniforms. Archer. How do I edit Archer? Uh, w. Crossbows. Not individual choice ranged. Sorted. Archer has ranged weapon choice. Cool. Now they have to have crossbows. Good. Mm. Why? Why is this place holding things that should be over here? This is the brewing side. This should only hold prepared food. Prepared drink, even. I didn't set this one up properly. Okay. Block all. You just want drink. Anything else in here that's drinks? Lion milk? It's fine. Just drinks. Now they should move these over here. Uh, you need to tell them to equip archer armor because you changed it after the squad. Excuse me. Excuse me. So how do I do it? How do I tell them what to have? Who can you kill? Yeah, everyone. Now tell them to equip archer armor. Go to equip. Okay. E. And then when do I... How do I now say archer? Equip, right? Do I just change this manually? You. Where is it telling me that? Assign uniform. I never saw that. Thank you. I love having chat when I play this game. That's how you do it. I spent like two hours on the wiki. <laughs> Such an idiot. I kept doing this uniform menu. Okay, they're both assigned to have archers now. Thank you very much, George. Okay, good. Now, has, the, has our new miner picked up his axe? He has. Why is there a bronze battle axe that someone's abandoned? Where did you put your axe? Weird. <laughs> and why did you abandon it? Weird. He doesn't have a, an axe. What you doing, weird? <laughs> oh, it's the wrong one. Weird is the, the fourth one down. He still doesn't have an axe. Oh, he does. We just have two axes? Where do we get the second axe from? <laughs> oh, well. First episode of RimWorld in your first video. Got a thousand views, you should really play it again. Yeah? It was the first video to do it. Cool. So no one wants to be the, uh, the new carpenter? Come on. You know you want to be the carpenter deep down. Where do we make the crossbows? I assumed it was in uh, Carpenter's Workshop. No, no, no. You need a boa. That's right. A boa's workshop? Or is it something else? It's probably the boa's workshop. B. 
Let's get one of those built. We've got a lot of idlers. Who's idling? Our trader. That makes a lot of sense. He should also be butchering. Is that it? That's not very helpful. He's probably not going to have much to do. Well, we can assign some more dragging tasks. Like, let's just, we could increase our wood stockpile. Why isn't he currently stockpiling wood? Sekas will be the carpenter. Uh, stick. Anis. Comets. Thank you. Everyone's got names now. Beautiful. Then we've got loads of idlers. No, just one now. Good. <clears throat> Boeing? Boa. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Bowery. <laughs> you need to have someone with Boeing enabled. Whatever it's called. Okay. <laughs> oh, Boeing. Where is that? Seems like it would be in this section. Of course, it's at this far end. All right, who's going to do this? Well, you were... Oh, he's 90... Uh, he's 59%. Nice. Yeah. Viking, our trader. You can also be our bow maker. Seems good. To the far left. Thank you. I see it now. We got it. Okay. Let me just check. Why are my miners mining? Why are they hauling instead? Is there a way of changing their priorities? So they, they mine first and haul second? I'd really like that. Add new task. Wooden crossbows. Repeat. Crossbows of any material. If you ever have less than... Let's go with three spares, make four. And now we need a military area. So I guess we'll put that here. It's, it looks like it's a long way from the base because it's down a few floors, but that's the same as just moving two squares. Is it rocks that steal your stuff? I have, I have no idea, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so we'll have like a little corridor. And then above it, we'll have a barracks. And we'll have separate barrackses for separate little, you know... Groups. So this can be our, our first archery squad's barracks. And then below it, we'll have a weapon storage area, which actually will need to be a lot bigger. And then our close range squad can go here. I love designing like this. The big monster birds. Birds. Kobolds are the thieves. Okay. Can we name that chief Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm the chief. Are you eating seeds? I think you're eating se I saw seeds. Inventory. What are you eating, you bastard? <laughs> I think I saw seeds. How do I say never eat seeds? Z Kitchen Seeds no? How do you say don't eat seeds? Could you do a dab? No. <laughs> Sorry. I think he just ate some seeds, though. Which is not good. Ban Kata Gasimir. Uh. Oh, the chef. Now, the chef's got a name. Lambert has become a stone crafter. Well done, Lambert. It's a good dwarfish, prof dwarfish profession. So I'm going to not stockpile all the stones that we've dug out, even though I really want to. <laughs> I, I am going to... Uh, why have we got so many cups here? Why aren't the cups going down here? Because we said goblets, not flasks. Are they flasks? No, they're cups. Is that right? We'll try flasks. Because the soil is only for goblets. Is it flasks? 
Goblets are cups. No, goblets are cups made out of metal. Right? Everyone's nice and busy. No? Got four ideas. Who's idling? A hunter. Why isn't my hunter hunting? By the way. Oh, maybe there's just nothing to hunt. Can you not kill the ravens? I thought this was Vanilla Hoy 3. <laughs> Who isn't doing something? A brewer? Lambert? Oh no, he's a stone crafter. Okay, well, we can fix that. I need some No, that's all out of ivory. I need... Why would you make blocks? What are blocks for? Does our hunter actually have a crossbow and bolts? Good question. It's Ulm. Ulm is our hunter. Ulm has no quiver. No, he does. Yeah, he has 20 bolts and a copper crossbow. Yeah, it's just that there's nothing he can hunt. For some reason, he doesn't want to hunt the ravens. Right. Why would you make blocks? I'd love to know. But what I actually want you to make is some cabinets, some coffers, and actually just like two weapon racks. The others, however, we need to repeat and hit me up with a workflow constraint. If you ever have less than three, make five. Ooh, what the hell did I just do? Let's cancel that task. It just came back. No, don't repeat. Cancel. Add new one. What the heck just went on? <laughs> Cabinet. Repeat. Workflow. Nope, that was the old one that already workflowed. Uh, coffer. Workflow. Okay. Less than two, make five. Box or bag of any material. No, but see, I want coffers specifically. Hmm. Four blocks from one rock. They do the same thing, but they're much lighter, and you get eight. Okay. Isn't that a fantastic way to make my stockpile explode? Can't you just smooth walls? You can. They're great to build walls. Okay, so you basically, it's a way of making your, your rock stockpile explode, which sometimes is useful. When you're building, you build smooth. Yeah, fair enough. You can't smooth soil, though, right? So we need to dig this out and replace it. And the floor, actually. Eating, you're eating a plump helmet. You're not supposed to eat the plump helmets. How do I forbid them to eat the plump helmets? Can I do that? I want them to cook them. Ah, oh, that's why. No one's milling plants. Mill plants forever. And just do it forever. You can store blocks in bins. Ten per bin. Awesome. We haven't got any bins. Let's make some bins. Where'd you make bins? Probably here. No? You can't make stone bins? What are we, elves? Bin. How do you search? S? No. Bins are buggy? Maybe we shouldn't use bins. <laughs> we should make the death penalty for anyone who eats the plump helmets. Wood or metal bins. We'll try using bins. Where do you make them? Looks like qua crafts dwarfs out of wood. I can't see him. Hmm. Can't you ban the eating of food from the inventory menu? I don't think I've ever seen the inventory menu. <laughs> Where's the inventory menu? It's not I. Items in buildings? Nope. Carpenter's workshop. Carpenter's workshop. Add. Bin. There it is. Thank you. Repeat. Workflow. 
bins less than three make five go at for it all right thank you for the bin advice it's the kitchen menu disable the cooking of plum helmets but they're eating them raw I have disabled cooking them but if they're cooking them raw I mean how do I stop that if they're eating them raw Stopping production of boxes or bags. But the thing is, I think they're stopping that production because they've got enough bags. <laughs> Which ain't helpful. Do you need beds in your barrackses? And then beyond this area, we want some uh, little corridor. And then some archery areas. Like this. Now, uh, in this area, we need a weapon rack. R. Pop that there. So we can assign it as a... Uh, a base, whatever you call it. Alright, P. This whole area... Wants to be... A ammo... And weapons. Cool. But plum helmets can be eaten raw. Yeah. Since you work for Paradox, when is Life and Strange 2 coming out? It already has. <laughs> and that's not a Paradox game. That's a big ammo stockpile. I best get to work. Yeah, well, I did say build 700. He's eating another plump helmet. Stop that. Why don't we have meals? Or do we have meals? Look, we've got prepared food in here. Stop eating. No, it hasn't. And yes, it has. What? I don't think I've had dwarves eating them raw. Maybe because there's no other convenient food source. Probably. There's no way to forbid eating it. You can make meals, they'll prefer meals. Okay, thank you. The only option is to forbid them individually. Obviously, we'd rather avoid that. So I'll just try and focus on making meals, which this guy is at right now. So that's good. Thank you. Do you have a bookkeeper who's keeping your stocks accurate? Mate. <laughs> no. What the hell is that? Is that a noble? Yeah, bookkeeper. Can it be just someone random? We have no one who's any good at it. Like, can it be one of our soldiers? For now, the Holy Spirit is going to keep our books. He requires something. How do I see what he requires? Uh, enter. He needs an, I mean, a meager office. What is a, a meager office? Well, let's build a corridor down here. I think a meager office just needs a desk. So, let's make a little... Let's make a couple of offices. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just ready for when we have more nobles that need offices. Going to want to build some archery targets. Alright, this... It's... it's. Would you assign barracks with R? U. Capital R. You go into the mayor or expedition because he wants an office. Okay. But our expedition leader is also a miner. So he's going to be a bit busy. So I think I'm going to give it to someone else. I don't mind having two offices. I'm fine with that. So his office just needs to be a table and a chair. I think. But you know what? We are a generous and benevolent god. Let's give him a cabinet as well. And a... And a a uh, a coffer. Set the accuracy level in the noble screen. Settings. Lowest precision. That's perfectly accurate, to be honest. <clears throat> Presumably it takes longer. Being nice, sure, nobles are not immediately murdering them. I do, is that what you're supposed to do? 
Always highest precision. All right, here's the deal. Next time we get a wave of migrants, I'll make someone the designated bookkeeper and we'll have highest precision. For now, I want him to spend his time on the archery targets. Is this the vanilla Dwarf Fortress music or did you find a playlist? This is the mod Dwarf Fortress music. Assign it to the Holy Spirit. There we go. And now his requirements are met. Please sing Diggy Diggy Hole. I, I don't know this song. We will also put pre-build these other offices just in case for when they come in handy. You can have the other one can have the cabinet. You can have a cabinet too. That's a chair. <laughs> uh, cabinet was F. There we go. Why wouldn't you be nice to them? It's a Yogg's cast thing. Well, never mind then. How do I set um, barracks, please? Once he starts work, once you start, he'll work a lot. Once he's finished, he'll only take tiny bits of work once in a while to keep everything accurate. You know what? You've convinced me. Thank you for your pertinent and helpful information. Pecan wood bean. No, I want the bins here. All the bins can go here. You don't get bins. Let's see, can I put cups in barrels? I'm assuming I can. They're parasites on the back of the working class dwarves. But we seem to have like a huge abundance of dwarves normally. So I don't really mind a couple of parasites. Needs unrotten solid cookable item. Do we not have a miller? Is that the problem? Milling. 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 Here it is. All right, who's not busy? The hunter is not at all busy. So until we get someone that's actually good at it, the hunter can do the milling. I'm glad we figured that out. Dwarf communists have risen in your provinces. <laughs> Nine idlers. So who's idle? One of the miners. That's fine. We always have... Ooh. We always have more mining to be done. In future, we're gonna. Uh, in future, we're gonna want to. Oh my god! We're gonna want to farm more, so let's cut out some more farmable areas. Um, what else do I want to cut out? <clears throat> Just wait until they demand the production of items from materials you cannot make that item from. <laughs> That does sound annoying. What else should I be building right now? I mean, we could massively increase the stone area, but we just don't need it. Oh yeah, we're gonna make um, blocks. Add a limit. Oh, I can't say block stones of any material. All right, blocks of any material. If you ever have less than 10, no, 50, Make a hundred. Great. I know more to the limestone bed, so I fed him, fed him to the GCS. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'd rather not know. So this is gold, isn't it? <laughs> Should we start metal crafting? Oh yeah, how do I tell my guys to train? I think I need these to get built. Needs architecture. That's right, I always had problems other base, not be enough architects. So let's find someone idle, make him an architect. Giant case better, cool. Gothmog, the useless gem cutter. You know what, my man? You can be an architect. I love having chat helping me play this game, by the way. You guys are amazing. This is really helpful. <laughs> so no one told me what the correct table to dwarf ratio was. 
So I'm just going to go nuts. And have like a lot. <laughs> I told you? What'd you tell me? Yeah, you did? You just didn't read. Oh, I'm sorry. What was it? Got something in my eye. We should have a gem pile as well, shouldn't we? We should have another storage layer. Just for random stuff. Designate. Designate I. No. Designate I. Dig out this. No. Because I still want this to be up downstairs. Good. And we'll put like a gem area. Serene Dwarf Fortress makes the game a multiplayer experience. That's the main reason, isn't it? It's not really a multiplayer experience. It's just a... Stop putting bins here. Why are there bins in the furnished stockpile area? Probably because there's no room. Hey, he's become a bookkeeper. Probably because there's no room in this area. Let's make the stone stockpile slightly bigger. So there's actually room. And who's who should be on blocks? Lambert. Lambert, what are you doing? He's sleeping. No sleeping. Make me blocks. Multiple experience should be like if you guys come and freaking raid me and grief my fortress. <laughs> it's five to one. All right, we've got way too many. He still doesn't read. Gandalf. <laughs> I did read. That's weird. They take the mugs up here and then drink here. That's what it looks like is going on. Who's idle? The gem cutter, naturally. Uh, who else? The brewer. We have enough drinks. We've got 71. All right, let's make that more restrictive so we never get low and sure make 200 when you get to below 150 make make 250 what kind of stockpile would you recommend for these things because i like overproducing but like the, the strength of attacks is based on the value or something give raid hey chew how you doing I sent it before you read it. I know. <laughs> How you doing, Chew? Have you played this game? <clears throat> Can you put, <laughs> put his arms in the air and put YMCA over it? Go for it. Lambert's become a mason. Are you building my blocks, Lambert? Constructing rock coffer. He's not making my blocks. Oh yeah, this area needs to expand as well. Ooh. Actually, we have some room for gems here. We could put gem stuff over here, couldn't we? Sure. This whole area. Store all our gems here. Is that under stone? No, there it is. Gems. Put all the gems there. You got planning permission for that. Looking into building a Twitch extension. Cool. Pants, pencils, plant seeds. No cave wheat seeds. We better have enough freaking cave wheat. We've got four cave wheat and no seeds. They've been eating it raw again. Oh no, not necessarily. Because vegetable fruits leaves, not... No, he's got 15 cave wheat seeds. What are you talking about? Council's plant seed needs cave wheat seeds. You've got cave wheat seeds, you madman. They're right there. <laughs> he's crazy. You can't eat cave wheat raw. Good. So they should be milling it. But it's suspended for some reason. They just put a workflow on it. Unless you have... What I want is, if you haven't got 999, make a thousand. Just do it forever. That's what we meant. If someone takes a container with seeds, someone else wants to use them, it cancels the job because the seeds are unavailable. Oh, so you shouldn't even put them in, in bags. Ah, okay. 
So what, you just have a huge seed stockpile? Because you, you can't stack them like this, can you? Someone else is using the bag. So we could solve that by having... What's your postcode address so we can swat you? Virtual, I know you're joking. But never, ever do that. <laughs> um, all right, this one, no... No blocks. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, and no ammo. Uh, disable. And no weapons. Don't even joke about swatting. I am of the opinion that you can joke about more or less anything. As long as it's very clear that it's a joke. Especially in cases like swatting. Do not do that. I should do it next time we're at war and I die. Please don't. What's your social security number asking for a friend? So the way you could do it is you can have containers. You just have to have only one type of seed. And then as long as you have one type of seed per farmer, you're okay. I should work, right? So this place, you can have barrels. Uh, block all. And you can only have plum helmet seeds. Why isn't it alphabetical? Do, 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 Plump helmet spawn. Okay, and this one <clears throat> can have the other ones. And then we can at least have one farm work on each plot, uh, each point in time. Such plump. There we go. Now you can have barrels. Do, 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 do. PDX boy, tell me if I can scrape the camera position out of Claude's Wix games. Crape? What does that mean? Scrape the camera position. I don't know what you mean. A spare crossbow. Let me know if one has a crossbow. What does it mean if they're highlighted yellow in, uh, in, in Dwarf Therapist? Does that mean they're in a squad, maybe? No, because Viking's not the one, isn't it? It's, it's these two. They both have quiver and ammunition. No, they're missing a quiver and a bunch of ammunition. <clears throat> okay. He needs a leather shield, too. They both have crossbows. Now, okay, this is something I had real trouble with. If you've no leather, how the hell do you make quivers? And how do I get leather? Because there's no one to kill. It's just a bunch of ravens. Can I get the camera map position and zoom? How do you mean, can you get it? Do you mean, can you export it, like, as data? Leather, butcher your puppies. Nice! Haven't had any yet. As soon as we have some puppies, we'll kill them and we'll get some leather. Sla slaughter dogs. That's legitimately the best way to produce leather. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> well, since they're here, I guess we could put leather production on the top floor. I kind of don't want to, though. I guess we can have gem production here. We'll do leather stuff here. That works. Um... We'll build it ahead of time. We'll need a tanning shop. Is it smelly? So X, Y coordinates or something? I have no idea, I'm afraid, Chew. Um, and then we need a... I know the butchers you keep above ground. What else do you use? For tannery. You know, got a tanner's shop and then I assume like leather maker's shop, but I can't see it in the list. You can only make quizzes out of leather except for strange moods, I suppose. There's one other thing, like some kind of silk, I think I saw on the wiki. I'm not seeing it. Maybe. Oh, there it was. It's right at the top. Uh, workshop. Leather works. E. Cool. And up here. We will want settings forbid. We just want leather. Just oh, there's a whole category. Nice. Leather works. E at the top. Thank you. Sorry, I spotted it now. Butcher tanner clover. Leather works. Yeah. Le is is, is clover something else? Maybe we could do the, that as well. Why is there a gap in this workshop? What are you finished goods? Let's just delete it. 
do 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 remake it running out of room in the uh the furniture place let's organize the furniture stockpile because well <laughs> i keep trying to say rude things <laughs> You know, organization. Nah, I just won't bother. They don't shave or shower. Great. Did I say shower? What do I mean to say? They can be made from adamantium. Did you create the barracks? Yes. Right here. What else should be in our barracks, by the way? No, I didn't. What was the key for barracks? That would be quite the waste. Yes, I imagine it would. Why are these guys still not getting... They need architecture. So I, I assigned someone to architecture. There's two people assigned to architecture right now. One of them is busy making ammunition. The other one is busy constructing rock blocks because it's Lambert. I don't think I meant to tell Lambert to do that. Who else could be an architect? No, we already have an architect. It's just that he's also our wood crafter. Wait, why is our wood crafter making stone blocks? No, no, he's making ammunition. That's right. So he's likely to be busy forever on architecture, so not able to do architecture. Well, architecture doesn't require a uniform, so that sounds like a good task for Jesus. Our other, uh, our other military man. Until we can get, uh, you know, an actual architect to arrive. Q over armor. Q. Thank you so much. Q. Make barracks a little bit larger. Perfect. The long shots. No, we don't need to assign it to anyone because it's the long shots room. There we go. And now, how do I go back to it? Q again. Train. Sweet. Now, how do you make it so they train at certain times of day? Can you do that? Like train 50% of the time? Can you do that? Candy should could not be used for quivers. What? Candy? Is that adamantium candy? I want some armor anyway, just in case. No, no, but we're putting you on the front line. Why have we made five quivers? Did I did I really tell you to make five quivers? Seems a little excessive. I did. No, I told you to make up to four, and they made five. Weird. All right, I'm just going to pop to the loo real quick. I shall be right back. Give me a 